Construction experts say it's happening every moment of every day to structures above and below the ground. The bridges we drive over, the buildings we work in, the cargo ships that travel the oceans, and our underground pipelines are slowly corroding, causing damage in some cases to the point of failure. Rust doesn't have a way of going away. It's a long-term problem that is part of building materials out of metal. Everything corrodes, and most people just think metal corrodes, but actually all materials do corrode in some form or fashion. Well, we hear a lot about you know what's in the news as far as what's caused by corrosion, and obviously in, in the last couple of years, pipelines have been a, a major newsworthy item in terms of what's been impacted by corrosion. But airplanes corrode, uh, ships corrode, uh, you know, just like we see in our everyday life is our cars, our bicycles. A lot of what the general public sees is the result of atmospheric corrosion. It's our daily elements that, that uh, deteriorate our structures that we have. Others are related to uh, industrial processes that deal with chemicals that are quite corrosive. If you're taking for granted that the structures that you drive across as a bridge or a tunnel that you go through is safe because it's been structurally designed, if there's corrosion affecting the integrity of that structure, that's one of the consequences that you have to deal with. It's through inspection and proper maintenance that we keep these uh, items operating safely. Corrosion also takes a major toll on the environment. Where we see corrosion impacting the environment is the outcome of the event. So for example, if a pipeline is carrying chemicals and is, has a leak in it because of corrosion, then obviously those chemicals can get into the, the ground or the groundwater. According to the Federal Highway Administration's 2001 Cost of Corrosion Study, the direct cost of corrosion to U.S. businesses and government agencies totals more than $275 billion a year. Further impacting the problem is a lack of students entering the field of corrosion science and engineering. Experts are concerned it could create serious consequences in the future. The more building that's going on, the more training is needed uh, because there's not really a formal training program in universities right now uh, for people working uh, in the corrosion field. The foundation is now working with some universities to create a four-year engineering degree program that is focused on corrosion so that corrosion would no longer be a sub-discipline of other engineering disciplines. To help curb corrosion and its effects, scientists and engineers are actively developing construction materials and techniques to protect structures from deteriorating too quickly. Corrosion can be addressed in several, in several ways. One, through uh, coatings, increased use of coatings and development of new state-of-the-art coatings is uh, probably w one of the most uh, exciting areas in, in corrosion control. Through continued training and public education, corrosion experts hope to put a cap on the damaging effects of corrosion and prolong the usable life of assets. As we increase uh, our awareness uh, and, and our education uh, in the field of corrosion and make other industries and businesses aware of it, what happens is, is they start to re recognize that corrosion can be prevented and that corrosion prevention measures can be taken and so we start looking to the cost savings of implementing those versus asset replacement. Based in Houston, Texas, NACE International is the largest organization in the world dedicated to the study of corrosion prevention and control, an issue that has an annual impact of more than $275 billion in the United States alone. One of the problems that industry experiences is if they don't prepare for corrosion in advance and they have an unexpected failure, it can cause the plant to shut down. And if it happens to be a piece of equipment that is not readily available to replace or cannot be easily repaired, that piece of equipment can keep a plant down and lost production is more expensive than the cost of the repair. Well, the mission of NACE International is to protect people, assets, and the environment from the effects of corrosion. It's very straightforward and, and it's a very focused mission and uh, it's one that everybody is dedicated to. With more than 65 years of history and members from around the world, NACE International is involved in every industry and area of corrosion control, from the oil and gas industry and water systems to marine vessels and our infrastructure. They have been the leaders in training, they have been the leaders in uh, fostering an awareness, 
uh, of, of the standards and practices that the industry needs to follow. And we, we understand that and we subscribe to that and we, we participate very strongly in many of the activities that NACE sponsors. NACE International offers specialized training courses to participants around the world in corrosion control and prevention techniques. In addition, the NACE Foundation is working to support the pool of qualified corrosion experts by offering scholarship programs for students interested in pursuing a career in corrosion science and engineering. The Foundation also participates in a program that provides teaching materials to high schools to help excite students about the field. NACE International, protecting people, structures, and the environment. For more information, log on to nace.org or call 1-800-797-NACE.